The history of Lyon, one of the largest cities in France, dates back to the time of the Roman Empire. The city came to be known as the City of Silk, where merchants from distant lands traded their goods. Over a century ago, a young Japanese teenager named Katsutaro Inabata arrived in Lyon to study European dyeing techniques. He would later go on to found the Japanese trading firm Inabata & Company Limited. The roots of Inabata & Company reach across the ocean to the city of Lyon. In 1877, 15-year-old Katsutaro was one of just eight students selected by Kyoto's government to study in Europe. His mission was to help modernize Japan's centuries-old dyeing industry. At that time, Lyon was the largest producer of silk in France and had the most state-of-the-art dyeing techniques. Katsutaro studied the basics of dyeing at a technical school in Lyon. Considering his academic studies alone to be insufficient, he decided to work at a dye factory to learn more about Europe's new synthetic dyes and the latest dyeing techniques. There he worked over 11 hours a day, his shoulders burdened with large bundles of silk thread. Enduring the ice-cold water of the Rhone River in winter. It was his strong sense of mission that he had been sent for the future of Japan, which gave him strength in times of hardship. After three years of working in the factory, he then studied chemistry at the University of Lyon. During his eight years in France, Katsutaro's foresight and creativity steadily developed. After returning from France, Katsutaro established Inabata Senyoten in Kyoto in 1890 as the sole representative of a major French dye manufacturer. This marked the beginning of Inabata and Company. In 1893, Inabata Senyoten was renamed Inabata Shoten, and a year later a Tokyo branch was set up. The head office was transferred from Kyoto to Osaka in 1897. Katsutaro imported dye, dyeing and weaving machines, chemicals and pharmaceuticals from major European manufacturers. He also initiated the teaching of advanced synthetic dyeing techniques in Japan. Katsutaro's ambition was to introduce highly developed goods and techniques to Japan and contribute to the nation's modernization. After another visit to France, Katsutaro brought back a cinematograph, the first motion picture camera that was also capable of projecting film. Invented by the Lumiere brothers in 1895, by February 1897, Katsutaro had presented Japan's first cinema show, realizing his dream of introducing European culture to Japan. The muslin Ohashi Bridge spans the Kawasaki River dividing Osaka from Hyogo. Next to it used to be the factory of a major muslin spinning and weaving company. Muslin is a wool fabric that's thin and light but warm. In that era, it was very popular among Japanese women as a kimono material. Japan relied heavily on imports, but in 1895, Katsutaro helped to set up a company to begin domestic production. In 1897, Katsutaro established Inabata Dye House, 
a dye processing business that employed the state-of-the-art dyeing techniques which he had studied so intensively during his time in France. A maroon color developed by Inabata Dye House was widely used for the Hakama-style skirts of Japanese schoolgirls. In addition, new khaki colors were also developed, which were adopted by the Japanese military for soldiers' camouflage uniforms. In 1916, the Japanese government set up the Japan Dye Stuff Manufacturing Company, which later became the core of Sumitomo Chemical Company's specialty chemicals business. The government was trying to encourage domestic dye production, as the turbulence of World War I had affected the flow of supplies to the Japanese dye industry. Katsutaro was involved in the establishment of Japan Dye Stuff, and became its president in 1926. It was at this time that Inabata Shoten expanded its sales network abroad with the aim of introducing Japan dye stuff products overseas. Utilizing the knowledge and techniques he acquired in Europe, Katsutaro not only played an important role in modernizing Japan's dyeing and weaving industry, but also in the nation's economic development. Katsutaro's contribution to business in the Kansai region led him to be named Chairman of the Osaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry in 1922. During his 12-year chairmanship, in the face of increasingly severe economic conditions, Katsutaro tackled issues affecting small and medium-sized firms, the streamlining of industries, and strongly promoted education. In 1926, Katsutaro and the French ambassador to Japan, Paul Claudel, set up the French-Japanese Institute of Kansai in Kyoto to promote cultural exchange between the two countries. Today, from its headquarters in Kyoto, the Institute provides French language tuition and cultural education, while also serving as a center for mutual exchange between artists and researchers from France and Japan. Katsutaro's desire to return the kindness he experienced in France in his youth continues to this day after more than a century. In 1943, during World War II, the Japanese name of Inabata and Company Limited was changed from Inabata Shoten to Inabata Sangyo. The company faced difficult conditions during the war. Expanding rapidly after World War II, Inabata was listed on the second section of the Osaka Securities Exchange in 1961, and on the second section of the Tokyo Stock Exchange in 1962. In August 1973, it was listed on the first section of both exchanges. The dye stuff division grew as domestic production of synthetic resins increased due to major technological advances and as new products were steadily introduced. Pharmaceuticals expanded as one of Inabata's core businesses but in 1984, this rapidly growing division was spun off to create Sumitomo Pharmaceuticals Company, which later became Dainippon Sumitomo Pharma Company Limited. Inabata's product range expanded to include polyvinyl alcohol, cornstarch, pesticides, paints, ink, and silicone, propelling the chemicals business. The Plastics Division, which became independent of the Chemicals Division, grew rapidly along with the expansion of Japan's petrochemical industry to become one of Inabata's main businesses. Resumption of business with a longtime French partner led to the growth of the Machinery Division, 
and later to the development of Inabata's information technology and electronics businesses. Inabata's housing materials business grew from the plastics division in 1974. In 1977 saw the official launch of Inabata's food business, as the cornstarch business was spun off from the chemicals division. Today, Inabata provides outsourcing solutions for procuring and marketing goods and materials around the globe, based on highly specialized capabilities and a multifaceted range of functions. Inabata creates plans and proposes business models backed by a thorough knowledge of products and their markets. In cooperation with its group companies and partners, Inabata also offers value-added services such as manufacturing and processing, research and development. For suppliers, Inabata markets goods and materials to customers worldwide. The company's global network continued to expand in 1976 with the launch of an operations base in Singapore, which became Inabata's first overseas arm in the post-World War II era. Overseas bases were also soon established in other countries around the world. The history of Inabata's IK company logo dates back to the company's founding. The two letters represent the initials of founder Inabata Katsutaro. They are also homonyms for the Japanese kanji characters for love and respect. Katsutaro's love of people and society continues to be a core value at the heart of Inabata and Company to this day. Overcoming adversity while pursuing what he believed was right, Katsutaro succeeded in creating a new horizon. This same pioneer spirit has been handed down to each new generation at Inabata. Inabata and Company is continually meeting the challenges of this rapidly changing world to create new value, new possibilities, and a bright new future.